Okay, you're ready when you are. And so, uh, Golf Sierra X-ray taking off. Yep. Golf Sierra X-ray taking off. Golf Sierra X-ray. Got off the brakes. That's it. Rot off to full. Helicopter Fox Trot Yankee downwind. Helicopter Fox Trot Yankee. Speed is coming alive. T's and P's are in the green. I know that knows that slightly. Bit slow. Keep that blue line speed, okay? Yeah. Under feet, take the flaps off. Okay, yep, go on then. Flaps are up. Let me get rid of these glasses, they're bobbling around all over the place. Sorry. It's alright, no worries, no need to apologise. I think you're being very optimistic bringing them. Yeah. <laughs> so we're coming to 500 feet, we're going to start the left turn. And the thing was, when you rang me, I only just rang at the airfield, I rang at the tower. And they were like, yeah, yeah, broken 500 feet. Because the uh, Sherwood did have their line off the, uh, their phone off the line. Yeah, you said. But I wasn't the only one trying to ring up. The other guy was just now marking, I think it was. He, he said he couldn't get through. And I'd always put that to out. Oh, oh. then on. Okay. So it doesn't only just give you position, but it gives you an altitude, hence the out. Okay. So I've got a month to prepare for this bloody interview now. I'm going to do my best to do it. Did you ever find out what happened with that other plane crash that happened? Which one? The one down south. The helicopter. Not yet, not yet. It hasn't come out yet. Not that, no, not that I've heard of it. To be honest, they were just in probably each other's blind spots. It doesn't need to be a lateral, it could be a vertical. Uh, yeah. I'm sure that's how the we're downwind. They're gonna be a late downwind now. Yep. Golf Sierra X-ray, late downwind. Golf Sierra X-ray. Brakes are off. Undercarriage is up. Mixture is Fuel is on. And with quantity. Out, so one stage of flaps. Okay, get caught. One thousand. Thousand. Uh, helicopter Foxtrot Yankee, if you're happy, we'll go to East Mid 134175. Helicopter Foxtrot Yankee, watch over, bye. A little bit wide out here. Yeah. So I'd start turning in. Okay. Is that the wind, that? Yeah, it could be the wind. could be your heading as well, slightly. But you're over, I think, what is Cockgrave. I think it's Cockgrave. Yes. You want to be inside the power lines here. See these power lines? Yeah. Next time, try to be in the inside of them. Okay. I want your speed because you're, you're slow as well. I'd put a bit more power in because you're low as well. Low and slow. As a result, being too out. 
Yeah, I'm going to go and pick up my brother today from the Luton Airport. He's coming to surprise my bloody parents. Ah. Golfier X-ray, a final for touch and go. Murphy swing two four zero six knots. Do I need another stage of flaps? Yeah, it's up to you. I would. One thousand. Hello. Oh, you're a little bit high, so look, lower that nose down and then gradually flare, okay? Because you don't want to be flaring all the way up there, I tell you. Okay? Yeah. Power up. Flaps up, yeah. power on. The flaps are already for takeoff. To be honest, that wasn't bad actually, just leaving on the takeoff flaps. Yeah, don't get rid of all your flaps because you'll find you won't take off as well. Okay. The climbing's a different story, of course. No, that wasn't bad. Flared a little bit too high. Okay. Not to mention low and slow. So, come in a bit closer next time, and then you'll have more height to play with. Yeah. But I'm trying to make you come to these decisions on your own, okay? Yes. Hence the, well, why I may feel a bit like I'm not here, kind of thing. Yeah. I am right. here, but I'm trying to get you to take, take control. Because a lot of people, because you're flying with different instructors, you may feel, you know, they're on top of you. Yes. Because, you know, they're all teaching differently. I'm trying to, you know, just let you do the mistakes, if you do them, and hopefully you'll correct them yourself. Not always the case, but, you know, you've only just really started your flying, so... I think this is going to be the best part of the slot. I actually think when you rang me, it was probably the best part of the day. Yes. Sierra X-ray downwind. Sierra X-ray. Okay, pump pitch. Brakes are off. Undercarriage is down. Mixture is rich. Fuel is on, and we have the quantity. Instruments. The peas are in the green. T, T. Okay, I'd start turning here. You're a little bit wide here. Again, you're over this town. Try and be on the inside of this town as well. Okay. okay now, now straighten us up there. So you can just cut in a little bit because you are on the outside here. Right, okay. Not quite, you can just about see the power line there. So when you fly up to the power lines, then you can turn. Okay. Watch out your power's a bit on the low side as well. Put that power back up. 22, 23, I would say, at least. That's better. But as a result of reducing the power too much, you did lose 100 feet. So yeah. just bear that in mind. Okay. Now you can start turning onto base. But this is where, really, you should be on your base, not out there somewhere. Okay. But before you were over there doing your final. Yeah. Okay. 
ahead, carry on. Second, on. second stage of flaps. Thousand. Golf Sierra X-ray, final for touch and go. Surface wind 24013 knots. I've got the numbers on the dash. Seventy knots still. Thinking nicely. Still there again, don't flare up here too too high to flare up there. Look uh, down here, look how, how much lower I'm getting down before I even think about pulling back. Okay, okay, okay off you go. Okay, full power, okay, right rudder. That's it. So you need to come down lower before you start that play. Time it too soon. Yeah. Laps are up. That's it. And also, you're not using any car peat on approach. Okay. I don't know if that if you uh, how do you some. Right. Okay. Because so you're idling the engine. It's cold day. Well, it's not that cold, but there's moisture available. Could be ice. Golf Sierra X-ray downwind. Golf Sierra X-ray. Right. So, car heat on. That's it, cool. Brakes are off, undercarriage is down, mixture is rich, fuel is got the quantity. Okay. Um, instruments are, T's and P's are in the green. Yeah, cool. Turn in a little bit more here, you know, the wind is more or less behind us. Yeah. So you really want to be flying that zero three zero, that's a, that's your downwind heading, plus or minus the wind. No need to turn any more than that. Just don't come out too wide. You don't want to be over here somewhere. Okay. Okay, so we're in the white arc, first stage of flaps, 1,000, yep. 2,000. I feel like my base leg is a bit high, should I be coming down no, to... Fine, no, it's fine, it's fine. You know, you've only just started the base leg. Yeah. Well, it's better to be too high than to be too low. Yes. Well, yeah.
Amazing. The wind isn't that strong, but it is pushing us across. Yep. It's, uh Golf Sierra X ray, touch and go. I'm fine. Perfect wind uh, 2507 knots. Why not better than that? Half heat in. That's better. That's it. Off you go. Much better. Make sure when it takes off, you don't let it sit back down. Wow, that felt better. Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, that's all we want. It's a consistency as well. Yeah. When's your medical booked or not booked? I haven't booked it yet. All so right. 300 feet flaps up. Okay. Because I think I'm going to have to go down to London, aren't I, for the commercial one? Oh, you're going for the class one straight off? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's not cheap. 500 quid or something like that. Yeah. Around that number. Golf Sierra X-ray downwind. Golf Sierra X-ray. Half heat on. Yep, what? Brakes are off. Undercarriage is down. The yep. mixture is rich. Fuel is okay. Cummins, T's and P's are in the green. Okay. Page of flaps and thousand. Another touch and go, are we? Yep, yep. We'll keep going, get your money's worth. Yeah. And then if this one goes well, we'll start looking at some engine failures as well. Okay. I don't like 40 minute lessons, because once you start getting going, it's time to land. Yeah.
Golf Sierra X-Ray final for touch and go. Perfect wind 240, 10 knots. Too much, too not much. Too much balloon. Yeah, that's it. You don't want a balloon in this aircraft, I tell you. Oh. Not bad. We'll try that again, but I'll show you an engine failure after take off anyway, so that you know what an idea. Gosh, that was a big balloon. Yeah, because and when you balloon, guess what? You pull back more instead. Yeah. So we need to we need to get over that. But you know. When people are faced with something they're not sure of, they freeze up and they end up doing more of what they're doing. Yeah. So you pull back, you pull back some more after that. 300 feet flaps up. Okay, cool. Okay, I've got control. You've got control. Okay, so if you had an engine failure, the first thing you do is lower the nose, okay? Okay. You lower the nose, you pick a field, you'd maybe do a quick mayday call. Uh, you know, try and close down the uh, controls and uh, the, the, uh, the equipment, the aircraft, and then let the, your passenger know what you're doing if you've got time, okay? Okay. Go for Sierra, and stop. Okay, so just letting them know we're doing a... X-ray, roger. So I lower the fan, oh look, engine failure, okay, so I lower the nose, pick a field. I'll go uh, to this green field here, okay, keep the speed nice and healthy. Okay, quick melee, cool, turn the fuel off, turn the mixture off, throttle out, keys out. Uh, keep the master on so I can use my flaps, okay, and I'm going around. Not much time to do anything there, don't want to get told off by the neighbours. So you can see, not much time there. But the priority there is to fly the bloody aircraft, okay? Yeah. Don't try and do all the other little bits and pieces. If you haven't got that field, you're not going to make it. But it doesn't matter if you make beautiful checks and a beautiful media call, if you go and slam into someone's living room, because yeah. you're not concentrating, okay? So make sure you get your priorities in order, okay? Because it isn't going to be much time. We do it at 500 feet to give you time. What if it's at 200 feet? Okay? Yeah. You know, your media call might be like, I forgot an engine failure, and that's it. Okay, do a quick court check, turn the keys off, I would bring the fuel off, turn the fuel off. But you want to keep the master on so you can use your flaps. Try and use as many flaps as possible to ensure you're landing as slow as possible. If you're going to hit something, make sure you're hitting it as slow as possible, and ideally be already on the ground when you hit it. Okay, okay you don't want to be hitting something with your wing while you're still in the air. Yeah. Because it, uh, it will turn out very horribly for you. Now for me, for the heading, I would want to be here, okay, on the inside of this town. You're more or less always on top of it. Okay. Okay, meaning you're a little bit too wide for my liking. Okay, your, your wing should just kiss the runway. Okay, but normally you're over here going over that built-up area, just clipping it. Sure. Which to me means you're a little bit too far, okay? Okay. Happy with that? Yes. Okay, make sure you're happy with the trim and everything. Uh, you've got control. I have control. Our priority still is going to be that flaring, making sure that's consistent, but yep. I might just reduce the power and just let you know the lows and pick a field. Don't need to do the checks. I just want to see the initial response. Okay. So it's something, it's something you can read up on for the next lesson. Okay. It is rich. Fuel is on and we've got them. Comments are green. First stage of flaps.
Golf's here at X-ray on final four, touch and go. Perfect wind, two four zero, six knots. Right, let's smash this one, Eddie. Get out here. No carb heat should be on. Down a bit low there. I can see the little birds in the trees. <laughs> Hold it, let it sink, and then pull back now. Not bad, could have done with a bit more pullback, a bit okay. flat. But it was better than the blue, that's for sure. Hey, up. I'm surprised how well it's doing with just one stage of flap. It's a lot easier than bringing in two, and then rushing to try and get rid of one. Yeah. Three hundred feet flaps up. Golf Sierra X-ray downwind. Golf Sierra X-ray. So brakes are off. Undercarriage is down. Mixture is rich. Fuel pressure, and we've got enough. Instruments are all correct. Yep. Yeah. We're in the green arch. One stage of flaps. Quite difficult to see those power lines, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's a murky day. Yeah. But this is a much better position. Remember, last time you were over there somewhere. Yeah.
Go Sierra X-ray, final four, touch and go. Surface wind 2506 knots. There you go, nice and gradual here. Yeah, it's way too much chat. Oh, yeah. Remember, it didn't take a lot of force to pull back, okay? Yeah. Off you go. We're not quite there yet. No. I mean, some of them are good, but we want consistency now. Okay, just be prepared at 500 feet. I'm going to be pulling that, pulling that power back. So just think about, you know, what I told you about that initial response, okay? Yeah. Flaps up. Okay, Engine failure. Go up to your X-ray fan stop. Flaps. Uh, yeah. We're in the green, what? so flaps on. Yeah, where we choose you? this green field. Okay, go around. Go Full around. Full power, that's it. Car beat off. Yeah, don't bring your flaps in until you know where you're going, okay? Yeah, okay. If you pick somewhere too far, you just brought your flaps in, well, guess what? You definitely ain't going to make it. No. Okay, and also start thinking about learning those checks as well when you do an engine failure, because they need to come quick and fast. Fuel off. You don't have to do them now, but I'm just saying yep. next time, next time, as your next lesson, start learning them. But yeah, made a call if you had chance, and uh, closing down checks. But yeah, fuel off, make sure out, keys out, master on to use the flaps, and then master off. And also opening the door ajar is a good one for the brief as well, uh -huh. before you land. So if it buckles, you ain't going to get out. We'll do a couple more, I think, and then we'll land. How about that? You happy with that? Yeah, happy with that. It's getting quite warm in here. Yeah, it is. So, brakes are off. Undercarriage is on. Mixture is rich. Fuel is full, we've got a quantity, engine, these are in the green, good enough for a first stage of flaps, I didn't call downwind, a Gulf Sierra X-ray late downwind. Gulf Sierra x So keep it pointed at the runway, right until... Yeah, and then gradually pull up when you're just about to kiss it, but you don't want to pull up too quickly or too soon. It's a matter of when do you start pulling and how much you start pulling, okay? Before you're pulling back too soon, yep. now you're pulling back too much, okay. too quickly, okay? 
mean, eventually you want to be pulling back that much, yes. But not all in one go that quickly. Yeah. Because the momentum just takes you back up. So this is a touch and go as well, is Yeah, it? mate, this is yeah. a touch and go. We'll land on the next one. How about that? Yeah, OK. So that'll put you around about an hour to 55 minutes, depending on what they log in the office. Yeah. Never mind, look, they'll probably put it down to 45. Golf here at X-ray final for touch and go. Surface ring 24010. Okay. That's it, you're blooming now, you're blooming now, there you go, go, full power. Oh. Car beat off, let's get that one. All right. Oh. Okay, that's definitely a Greek thing, that. Right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you've been told off once, what, quite a few times. Yep. <laughs> Two Greek women in the house already. Yeah, yeah. And now with the third one, you're doomed. 300 feet flaps up. Golf Sierra X ray downwind. Golf Sierra X ray, Roger, new QFE now 1029. 1029. Yeah, did we set that right? 1029. There we go, that's it. So the brakes are off, undercarriage is down, mixture is rich, fuel is good. And the pressure's okay, engine TZPs are in the green. The white stage, so first stage of flaps. Certainly is a very busy time to be a part of flying, isn't it, this bit? <laughs> yes. You get used to it. Yeah. Uh, second stage of flaps.
course here at X-ray final to land. Surface wind 230, 8 knots. So keeping the numbers in line. On the nose wheel again. Not enough pullback. A beautiful line, but it needs to be a bit more back like that. Okay, you want to be touching like that. You were like that. Okay. Okay. You don't, wouldn't want to be any harder than that because the uh, nose wheel would go. Right. Okay. But it's not a bad place to finish. But you're almost there. Okay. Yeah. It's probably that five ten percent that you need, and that makes it probably a perfect landing or close to a perfect landing. But it makes a big difference when it's not quite there. When it's the other five ten percent the other way. Are we coming off here? Yeah, we'll come off here. We'll park over here somewhere. Apparently they uh, want it on the uh, main.